Hey guys, Nuka here. So let's run down the checklist here. You got your food, check. You got your water, check. You got your shelter, check. You got your protective weapon, check. Do you have fire? Well, if you don't, and that part of your checklist is unchecked, I'm recommending that you get yourself a means of creating fire. And I know those are those easy start fire where you have the magnesium, you strike it off, you smack the flint a couple of times until it catches. That's fine. But for those of you who aren't that skilled at it, or for those of you that want, don't want to be able to deal with that, what I recommend you get is the Zippo lighter. That's right. The same Zippo lighter that your dad or your best friend's dad has been using since you were a kid and probably still uses to this day. This is your SHTF lighter right here. This is a great way to have a fire source. The only thing you need, of course, are the flints, the wick, and fuel. Other than that, you are pretty much good to go to start fires anytime you need it. The thing I like about Zippo, it's reliable, it's refillable, it's cost effective, and these things last forever. <clears throat> Not only that, but when you know it, it's made in the USA. So once again, you know you're getting that high quality product that you're looking for. So Zippo lighters, very important because like I said, these things, they last, they're durable, and even the flame is pretty great. So here we'll just demonstrate the Zippo lighter. Uh-oh, we got issues here. It's not lighting up. It's a good thing about the Zippo kit. By the way, this is out of fuel. It's not broken or anything. I let it run out of fuel on purpose. I bought the Zippo kit. It comes with the Zippo lighter right here that you see. It also comes with the lighter fluid, four ounces. And it also comes with flints and wicks. Bought all that, the whole kit together at Amazon for $15 straight from Amazon. And if you want, you can also get an additional 12 fluid ounce bottle to go with this as well. All that together with the 12 fluid ounce bottle, $20. Can't beat that. So now we'll go ahead and uh, easily demonstrate how to add fluid, your fluid to the Zippo lighter. If you look here on the side of the refill bottle, they give you directions, very simple directions. I'll display it now. All you really have to do, you just open up the case, pull out the actual Zippo lighter. Down the side. Come to the back. Pull back this compartment here. And then you just take your fluid and you just pretty much take your fluid and you just pour it down the back of the Zippo lighter. Just be careful not to overfill it too much. Of course you guys can't see that. Let me get to where you can actually see it. Uh, sorry, one big camera show. There we go. Just fill that up. Enough for now. Stuff that back in there. This is getting a little frayed back here. It's my fault. See how that is? Nice and tight. Make sure you dry your hands off first, guys, because that is lighter fluid. I doubt anything serious would happen, but uh, just to be on the safe side, dry your hands off in case you spill some on them. Right. Then you just flick it back. And of course, the beauty, light that bad boy up. There you go. It lights. And this thing is durable. I mean, even the light stays quite well on these Zippo lighters. If you're tired of seeing the flame, close the cap, and it's gone. So like I said, this should be in your checklist. Probably get a couple of these, probably two, maybe three, <clears throat> because if yours is still reliable and it works just fine, these could be great bartering items when it comes to an SHTF situation. As well, 
<clears throat> these can be great bartering items. Now, speaking of lighter fluid, you can really use <clears throat> just about <clears throat> the spe the, any type of lighting fluid for your Zippo lighters. The Zippo highly recommends Zippo lighter fluid only, but that's a little misleading. You can't use other woods. You have to do your research on which woods you can use. I don't think you should actually use the charcoal lighting fluids because I think they have a different flash point. That's something you have to do your own research on, but it definitely does not hurt to add this to your SHTF situation. This way you can boil water with your little cooking stove, make nice warm food, burn things. I mean, fire is something you can't create from thin air out of your own heads. You should have a means of creating fire. And I recommend this Zippo lighter. So that's my little review on Zippo. Well, not really a review, but more or less what is needed for your SHTF preparation kit. So the Zippo lighter is definitely something you want to add to your SHTF kit. You know, I know there's some things that people forget to add to the kit. The simple things that matter. Fire is going to make a difference. Fire is going to help. So you definitely want to have fire design. You want something that's dependable. So I highly recommend you go out there and you get yourself a Zippo lighter. Make sure it's the authentic Zippo lighter and not one of those cheap knockoffs from eBay. I don't know how good or how bad they work, but I definitely know that this authentic Zippo lighter works just fine. So I highly recommend you guys add this to your prep. That's all I have for this video. And uh, of course, as always, keep look on the lookout for extra videos. And I'll see you around. Later.